What can cause someone from having a perfect relationship to suddenly calling it off? Hmm. Hmm. What do you think, Patrick? So what, what can, can ha- what can cause someone from from having a perfect relationship yeah, to, suddenly to suddenly calling, calling it, off? it off? Okay. So so I'm gonna I'm gonna make the assumption with the statement that you know she had been in a relationship uh, with a guy and everything seemed to be going well, mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden he just decided that he didn't want to be in the relationship with her anymore. Yep. Um, so I would say I, 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 I'm going with my gut here. As a general rule, I would say that's pretty unusual just for there to be absolutely no warning signs. And all of a sudden he just leaves. Um, mm-hmm. Usually there's some warning signs early on that tells you that there's strain in the relationship um, that requires increased communication to figure out what the problem is. Uh, and, and really work on it together to fix it. Uh, but if, if, if that has been missed, uh, there's a good possibility he could leave because either he didn't feel there was communication there. Maybe he felt like he was trying to get something across to you and you weren't hearing him. Um, and in, you know, in, in other cases and in, in, in some rare cases, uh, the guy or gal could just leave a relationship really through no fault of yours at all. It's something mm-hmm. entirely with them. Yeah. Uh, and, and that's a big challenge. I, I, it's, you know, that's one of the, I think one of the hardest things for people to accept sometimes is they feel that if someone leaves them, that they're not a good person then. Right. And that is not true. Mm-hmm. Like you have tremendous value and being okay, even though it's painful and, and, and still being okay with grieving that process, but still being able to let them go uh, is a, a testament to your character and your strength, right? Um, and I would say, you know, with someone in, in a situation like that, I would definitely try to communicate with that person and ask and say, hey, you know, why? What is it that you feel that you have to walk away from this? Um, and if they're willing to communicate, to still try to work it out. Uh, but if if they aren't willing to communicate, then to try to make peace with that and move on. And in a lot of cases, I would say, you know, if you really, you know are able to find your inner strength, that person may come back to you. Uh, not to say it's a guarantee, but if you don't continue to, you know, pursue them, even when they've left, if you, you know, make peace with it and, and move on in a lot of cases, they're going to come back to you because they say, man, what did I do? What did I give up? Um, so I just think that it, again, this is kind of a broad answer to a, a, a question that I don't have all the details on, but right. that's just kind of, <laughs> My impression. No, that was that was actually a great response. You could probably be a relationship coach if you wanted to, Patrick. <laughs> now, and, and I was going to say something very similar, actually. It, it, a lot of times it has nothing to do with you. Yeah. And a lot of times there are signs or there's things that built up. I, I had a woman one time who said that there was this guy that was with her. They were married for 17 years. And then suddenly one day he left her and her kids. And wow. that she was like, there was no reason for it. And he just disappeared one day and there's no signs. And it's like, usually if a guy, especially a guy that's been with you for 17 years and you guys have kids together, the likelihood there is no signs is, is almost non-existent, right? There, right? What probably happened was that he was experiencing a lot of pain for a lot of time because men tend to just put their head down and just stay in relationships for much longer than, than women tend to. The statistics yeah. show that women are, uh, w- women tend to walk out of relationships about three times as much as men do. And so if, if a guy has been in, you know, he's got kids, he's got all these things, it was probably really difficult for him to walk away from that situation. And I, I don't know what situation this is, but it, it might be that he experienced a lot of pain for a while and he, he just got fed up with it. Or it could be that he saw something and it just seemed so much dramatically, right? People leave and they go and do other things because of pain and pleasure, right? They, they experience pain in the moment and they feel like getting out of the situation and going somewhere else is going to be so much more pleasurable that they'd rather go and do that 
than than yep. spend any more time here and they feel like it's it's that bad because it sucks to break up with somebody it sucks to to let go of something that you've built and created and so usually people experience a lot of pain before they just up and leave and sometimes it doesn't have anything to do with you sometimes it has to do with them and their feelings of worthiness and their ability their feelings like they can actually do this and that this is the relationship that they really want to have or or whatever right and so it, it can it, it can have to, have to do with a lot of different things and and so it, it it could be a bunch of different things and just really depends <laughs>